Hello, am I audible? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, I welcome each one of you to the summer internship orientation for the academic year 2023-24. I'm Parth, a central team member at the Office of Career Services. I, along with Kinjal, who is also a CTM at OCS, will be moderating today's workshop. Uh, just to inform you, we will take up doubts in the Q&A box, so please put your doubts and questions in the Q&A box. They will be addressed along the session in the chat and also we'll have a dedicated Q&A session towards the end. We have with us Mrs. Anisha Omadan. Anisha ma'am is the head of Office of Career Services at our college. A warm welcome to you ma'am and I'd now like to over to you to address the batch. Uh, thank you Bart. Uh, uh, I'll just uh, quickly, I'll just give you all a brief overview of how the last year went and uh, remind you of a few policies. You all, uh, uh, what I would request all of you to do is that go through the training policy, which is already there on in the download section of OCS website, uh, because that pretty much covers everything. And the policy will be updated by uh, before the process starts because that is still under review for the year, but pretty much it will remain similar to what it is right now. So just getting into it, if I just give you a brief overview of how last year went, uh, the OCS team works really hard to uh, get people the best possible internships. Uh, uh, and as many of you as are looking for internships, we try to help you all. Uh, we may not be doing 100%, but we help quite a few people just to let you all know. Last year, this uh, this was how it went. So we had 192 companies that visited just for intern hiring, uh, offering 310 job uh, internship profiles. Uh, the negative part is that out of that 192 companies, only 130 companies went back with selections, over 170 profiles, which means around 60 companies did not make offers on campus and they did not find people who were relevant to, to their domains. So uh, what that tells us is that yes, the OCS team is getting those profiles on campus, but maybe uh, there is a mismatch happening somewhere between uh, whether it is the skills or your expectations or whatever it is. And these companies are going back with zero selections. Uh, as a batch, uh, since you all are now getting into the next phase, we would like to minimize the number of zero selections, right? We had a, a phenomenal number of selections, which is 715 offers were made uh, and 610 uh, students have gone for internship as we speak. Uh, this does not include the self-arranged seats because self-arranged seats, uh, OCS does not even get into their system. Now, just to give you all an idea of whether CGPA matters or not, uh, IIT may hope we are still students, so it's good to know. This is how the CGPA graph looks. CGPA will always matter, not only for getting the internship, but also in placements and also for the rest of your lives. So please do not take your courses lightly. Do your courses well, they will help you somewhere, right? Quickly, I will now jump into processes for the coming year because this is what this entire orientation is about. I will give you a brief overview of, like I said, just the overview of the process and a, a few key policy pointers that you need to always keep in mind. And then the team will give you a, a demo just to show you how the portal will start working uh, and the CV making part of it. Remember from this year, the key uh, 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 thing that you need to keep in mind is that all communication to you uh, which comes for whether it is for test processes or for any other uh, uh, reason that we need to communicate with you, it will be on your Kerberos IDs. So uh, once a day, usko check karne ki aadat dalni hai. This is an institute guideline. We will take your Gmail ID when you are registering, but that is only an alternate and that will not normally be used at all. So please keep your Kerberos IDs working and check, check them regularly. OK, now let us get into the process. The process will begin. The CV making process is starting as of as we speak, uh, but interviews will start from August. The details of companies will be available to you shortly because the uh, registration process for companies is also going on. 
and uh, we will show you how things happen shortly. Interviews or, res or resume based selection processes, it does not really matter. It, uh, a selection is a selection, whether they do a resume based selection or an interview based selection or whatever process they follow. But the key is that CV forwarding and collection is only through the OCS website. So companies will register on the site and you will apply on the site. That is the only way that it will happen. OCS, like I said earlier, also is not catering to self-arranged internships. And for NGO credits, see, the two are not linked. Getting an internship through OCS does not guarantee NGO credits because that uh, NGO credits is a departmental prerogative. So for that, you need to follow NGO uh, portal norms separately which is when you are going before you go for your internship. That would be a different process altogether. Training selections, how do they happen? A training is open for students from second year onwards for UG students and for pre-final year students for certain PG programs. The uh, PG programs we are not talking of today. We are only catering to the UG students right now. Internship period may be of 40 working days in summer or a full semester, which is 100 working days or as notified by Dean Academics. Uh, whatever that notification is, it will come to you if, if, if there is a change, right? Internship selections as per new guidelines outlined in courses of study, section 8.6 of DPE credit. So if you want to know more of what courses of study says, please refer to that. In case a, a selection process has to be adopted, CV is made available through this system only, like I said earlier. As and when a seat is allotted, it cannot be changed and you cannot change your mind later. So if you're selected in August, you're bound by to go for that in the in, in the next summer, August or at any point during that entire season. So uh, please be aware that if you don't apply, you don't get selected. But once you have applied, you are committed. If a seat is assigned through an OCS process, I'm just repeating the students are liable to complete that internship. Otherwise, disciplinary action will be there. Student policy of OCS will apply at the minimum. It can go up to a disco of any level, right? Just read that policy. I'm just giving you, like I said, some important excerpts from the policy. That you need to follow departmental norms for getting training approved from DP committee prior to leaving for internship in case you want to apply for NGO credits. That process will happen somewhere around April uh, uh, and your faculty coordinators will take you through it. So there's a long way to it, but I'm just putting it there because you need to do it if you're wanting to avail NGO credits for this internship. In all cases, Award for uh, non-graded design units after completion of the internship, the work must be evaluated by the DP committee of the student's department or the institute level DP committee, as the case may be. Again, clause 8.6 of courses of study. The decision of DP committee would be considered final and binding for grading of credits. This was 8.6. If selected from OCS processes, the student, I'm just repeating what I just said earlier, right? And summer, uh, if you're going for a summer internship, do not register for the summer semester because we do check. And if you cannot do both the activities together, that is not possible because then you will lose both the grades and also you will uh, set yourself up for disciplinary reaction. <laughs> now, these are the excerpts from courses of study. A student can do at most two internships for DPE units during his or her stay at IIT Delhi. It is not only two, uh, two internships for DP units, it is also that OCS will facilitate up to two internships for any student. So if a student has already done two internships during their tenure in IIT Delhi, the third one would not be possible. This is more so for dual degree students because they potentially have three options, uh, three, uh, three, three summers that they can avail it. So please plan accordingly. Prior approval of DPE committee of students department and you need to register for X60 200 or X60 300, depending on whether which if you're going for the first summer internship, it is 200. If it is a second summer internship, it is 300 and semester internship, which we do not cater to, but be 500. Monitoring has to be done by the internship supervisor, evaluation and moderation by DPE committee of department and institute. This will get you two design units. 
Now remember, it is zero or two. It there is no option for one. So if it is thirty nine days that your company says you have done, you will get zero credits. So forty days is a very sacrosanct uh, uh, cut off. When you go, please remember that and keep that in mind. Semester internship you can avail if it is hundred working days. OCS does not cater to it. Like I said, prior approval is required, and if you do hundred in uh, uh, working days, you get the full five uh, uh, DP units. Some sorry. Summer internships are allowed in the summer after the fourth registered semester of the student or later. And semester, I'm just putting these in as excerpts for your ready reference. And for masters, we will talk, uh, we are not covering them. I've just put it there. And I've already said that we will facilitate a maximum of only two internships. For NGO credits, you will need to register an NGO portal separately as per DP norms. So like I said, the two are not linked. We are only facilitating your getting a seat, but later you cannot withdraw from a seat quoting NGO. You are liable for the OCS one if you take it. Now, semester long internships, like I said, are not facilitated by OCS. You can go for it, but for that you need to contact a CAT section and uh, uh, your department separately and do the process for it separately. Now we come down to the process of what, how the process will go for the coming few days. Like I said, application process is fully online. You have to register by visiting OCS website. The moment you do your first login and uh, accept all, uh, all the, the uh, whatever we have put out there in terms of that you have read the policy, you understand the policy and all of that, you are good to go. Start filling your resume, read the instructions. There is instructions with it. The team will be showing you how to do it. The re resume will be frozen after a, uh, about five days. And the reason we have to do it is because we don't want you to be editing the re resume forever. Once you have put in your thought for the resume, it is done, it is frozen. There will be a verification process. And when you start applying to companies, whichever, uh, 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 CV you have pushed will just go. You don't need to start thinking of your resume after that point of time. How do you apply to companies? Now that is a criteria that you have to put your mind to. And like I said, think before you apply. So whether it is money versus project, actually at this point, personally, I would advise project is more important because it is what you will write on your CV for placements. But I gave a personal choice here. Project matters. Do your projects well so that you are able to present them well wherever you go for interviews. Put all your thought into application. That application part is the most important because once you have applied, you are bound to the company. If the company selects you through whatever process, then there is no going back. Shortlist will be visible to you on the portal itself. We will be showing that to you shortly. If interviews need to be done, tests need to be done, we will facilitate it. You will know how it is done through as we go through selection and acceptance again is happening on the portal itself. Now, sometimes IIT Delhi students do things that are unethical. This is something which will there is a policy of no compromise out here. If you are caught you using any unethical means, believe me, it is not going to be nice for you at all. And unfortunately, we do come to know if you are resort to anything. So don't do it. That That's a very, very strong advisory to everybody that be sure of the rules. Visit the OCS website. It is also available on your login. You are an IIT Delhi student. You are one of the best in the country. You cannot come and say that I did not see it or I was not aware of it or I misinterpreted it. None of these excuses will work. If there is something that you don't understand, the staff is there to help you. The team is there to help you. So ask questions, we, uh, but do not do things that will get you into trouble. Major rules, you can only do one internship. So trying to, uh, you know, uh, so the moment you get your first internship, you are out of the system so that others get a chance. Uh, absenteeism, there are rules around it. Read the policy. If you are absent from processes, there are fines and 
fines for certain kind of things and for certain things it is uh, if you're missing some processes it is first violation x fine second violation y fine third after the the third, there is no option. Then we believe that you are really not serious about it. References of the day. Again, the team will be showing you how to fill it on the system. This is an important step. You need to do it for companies in which there are multiple companies coming. And if you do, if you forget to do it or, uh, uh, you know, coming and telling us, I did it, but it Remember, it is your login. The system will take over. If you do not fill it, the system will give you a preference by default. Don't contact companies directly. If there are any issues, please flag them to the OCS or nucleus committees. Like I said, the staff is there to help you. The team is there to help you. Any problems, please let us know. Do not escalate things on your own. We are there to take it forward for you. If you have any issues, it is not a nice thing to start fighting with uh, the companies directly. Let us do it for you. Off campus activities, decide what you want. Uh, there are rules again uh, about off campus activities. Either you are part of the campus pool or, or you can choose to be off campus totally. You can't do both together. And like I said, webmail will be used for all official communication. So please keep your webmail active. Watch out for notifications. Again, we will be showing you how to see the, the notifications. Deadlines will be available on your desktop. Follow these. These will not be changed. Deadlines are important because many times it is the company's deadlines. And even if they aren't, company, uh, there, there are reasons why those deadlines exist. We do try to give you as flexible, uh, as long a deadline as we possibly can. But sometimes when the process is going on, we you may not have that luxury. So like I said, webmail rows ek bar check karna hai. And when the process is going on, even your login once a day, you have to check it. And uh, maybe twice when the process is at full swing. Now, just the tentative calendar. The orientation is happening right now. The CV uh, uh, has opened. So uh, when the team takes you through it, you all can see the portal it's, uh, again with yourself. 28th June, your CV is freezing. Now, just for your information, there are two pages to the CV. Page two is coming from some IIT Delhi system, whether it is the information cell portal or e-academics. Remember, none of this data rests with OCS. So if you come and tell us that this data is missing or this data is wrong, we can't do anything. Either you have to go to the SAC or you have to go to the ACADS. Ke paas jana hai. Jo, whatever is on their portals is coming from there directly. So don't flag it to us, flag it at the correct place. Application processes will start around 8th of July. Online test processes will start around 14th of July and physical test processes will start with the start of the semester. So please plan accordingly. You should be on campus for all these processes on time. Plan your travel back to campus accordingly. Interview processes, 5th August is the first date for the interviews and we will start 5th of August onwards. The interview processes will be there. We do not schedule any activities during minors or majors, so you don't need to worry about that. We do. Uh, we are very sensitive to how the uh, academic calendar is going. Some important. I'm again and again stressing this. I'm repeating it every second or third slide. Please read that student policy. It is important. Then we also have something called rogue companies. There is a list we try to identify of companies that have done things that were not right with our students in previous years. So the entire community is debarred from applying to that set of companies. As of now, there's nobody on that list, but if there is, it will be updated and you will be. Uh, so just keep yourself aware that if there is a non-on-campus company, hai, See, it is in your interest not to approach them because obviously there was some reason why they are on that list. And if there are any queries that need to be raised, uh, actually you can either raise it to this or there is a query system which the team will be uh, telling you about. Use one of the two. The query First try the query system and then get on to this. Questions we will be handling uh, in the Q&A part. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a wonderful evening. And now I hand it over back to Parth to take this forward. Thank you so much for the insights, ma'am.
uh, we have with us the overall coordinators with us. We have Srishti Sachin, Tejas Kasture and Shubham Garam, Garampalli. Uh, Tejas sir and Shubham sir are answering your questions in the chat. Now I'd like to call upon Srishti ma'am to take us through the resume building and the application uh, portal. Srishti ma'am, over to you. Um, hello everyone, hope I'm audible. Yes, you are. Uh, yeah, uh, so there's a slight delay um, in the demo. I'll just take two minutes and then I'll start with it. In the meanwhile, uh, I'd like to recommend everyone to open the OCS website, go to the download section and give a look over to the uh, internship policies. There's a document over there. I've also shared the link to the download section of our website in the chat. Please go through it. It will address a lot of your queries. The PPT will not be shared. Many of you all are asking, will we get this PPT? This is very generic. Uh, you are attending this session. If you just read the policy, most of your questions are, are getting answered there. And uh, this is not a shareable uh, PPT uh, which was there. Just remember these points. They are there on the policy. For dual degree students, I had already said it is up to two times. I, I said it very clearly that three times you potentially you have three times, but it, OCS will only facilitate two out of those three. So the moment you have done two, the third one is not happening. Uh, hi everyone, is my screen visible? Oh uh, yes. 
uh, hi so um, this is the OCS website um, that you have to um, regularly check when the season starts here to log in on your portal you have to go to the student login thing uh, you will be putting your code here uh, which would be your entry number of progress ID and the password and then enter this capture Uh, here you will see uh, two sessions. Uh, all of you are eligible for the internship session, and you have to you have to register for this. Uh, cross check all your details. Next, um, here you have to enter your uh, email ID, your address, and everything. Uh, you can also select a CV for your uh, profile here. Uh, then you have to go through this form. This is mandatory for registration. Uh, after going through the form and filling, just a second. Yeah, so this is a Microsoft form that you would have to answer uh, the questions in. enter your name, entry number, uh, Cobras ID. And these are some questions related to the training policy, which you would have to answer. After this, once you have filled this form completely and submitted it, then you would receive a code, a verification code on your email IDs. Uh, I'm already, uh, I already have a code, so I'll move ahead with this process. After successful registration, this is the kind of uh, page that would uh, be visible to you. Now, this is your student portal. There are different sections here. Uh, one is for the CVs. Other, uh, there are different tabs. And this is the main screen. You can see the CV deadline here. Uh, once done with your CV, this is where you will be putting your verification document. Uh, this. Uh, with this icon, you can upload the document and uh, this is the order guide which has the instructions of how uh, your document should look like. You can go through it once you're uh, submitting the verification document. It has all the list and all the rules related to it. Uh, the verification deadline would get updated later over here. Once uh, the deadline is over, whether your CV has been verified or not would show here. And your current session application limit is the number of profiles that you can apply to. Please be mindful that this limit is 50 only. That is, you can apply to 50 profiles only. And here you can see how many applications have you used. Uh, the preference deadline, which would be used later uh, to be filled before um, your uh, interview dates, would be visible here. Uh, now, uh, applications in, is the window where you see which company, uh, uh, which companies applications are open right now. Like all the companies that you are eligible for to apply and uh, their application window is open right now. Those would be visible here. Here you can simply apply by clicking on this icon and select the kind of CV that you want to apply with. Uh, these these are the different types of CVs. I will uh, tell you about them when we go over the CV part. Uh, you have to simply click on one of the CVs with which you want to apply for. And then uh, as of now, the CV is not present. That is why it's not uh, loading. But otherwise, the CV uh, you can apply once doing this. You can apply with this CV to this company. Uh, if you want to see the details of this company and the profile they are offering, this is where you have to click. Uh, here you can see the company details, the project details, the stipend, the selection procedure and the eligibility. This is where you will see all of this. Uh, next is preferences. This is where you will be filling your preferences as I said earlier before the interview dates. Uh, Basically, um, 
your choice of what company uh, you most prefer to be uh, selected for in case of multiple offers uh, your most preferred company is selected more details on this can be found on the student training policy next is companies on campus so while applications is the window where uh, you can see only companies that you are eligible for companies on campus will show you all the companies that are visiting uh, iit delhi for internships so uh, apart from this if there are any other companies uh, for which you may not be eligible for you can see all of them here uh, general request this is the tab where you can raise your queries from uh, i'll show you how to do it if you just uh, click on add new query select a category there are different types of queries that you can select for uh, let's pick general query you have to uh, put in your description here uh you have to upload any document here and once you add it uh this query would be added now you can uh, check the description back from here you can check your document if you have uploaded any from here and uh, the query status will tell you whether the query has been resolved or not now coming to uh the these icons uh, first one is notifications this is where you will receive all the notifications regarding all the processes uh, that ocs conducts it is advised strongly advised that you download the notifications app for your android or ios device from here uh, personalized notifications are another thing these are notifications that are visible in blue color separately these are visible to only a set of relevant students otherwise any notification that goes here is visible to each student company schedule is where you will see uh, which company test or ppt is uh, um, scheduled at what time so the schedule would be uploaded here general notifications are for um, maybe application deadlines that uh, xyz company's application deadline is open till now such notifications would be here uh, shortlist this is the place where you will see um, uh, test shortlist mostly if your shortlist if a test if a company has a separate test shortlist it would be visible here and downloads is another section where there would be documents that we uh, want to send to you over for downloads uh, these are personal details that were uh, visible earlier you can um, edit them at any time and here is where you can change the password now we look at create cv here you have to fill all the details of your passing year your uh, board and everything your degree your school and the mark that you received you can also add your qualifying exams if you want uh j j advanced rank is already added over here so there is no need to do it separately otherwise you can fill in uh, your main rank here once this is done uh, you can uh, see this is the cv editing window uh, here you have all the um, details or points important to this uh, you have to continuously keep saving your cv so that uh, the content that you are writing get saved correctly you can also download the cvs on your folder these are the rules that are used for editing different things like bold underline italics alignment bulleting etc and uh, uh, the cv does get auto saved after 3 minutes but it's still advised that you try uh, and make it a habit to um, update it regularly to save it regularly now here is where you can navigate the sections as you can see academic details section is already visible here from here you can edit the academic data now if i want to add internship section next i have to click on so uh, section and add a point now here you can see the point is added i can include as many sub points as i want to and uh, write the content i want for that particular company um 
maybe next i want to show prs i have to again uh, so, uh, show this section at points and sub points accordingly uh, also there are different things like work experience thesis which are not relevant to you technical skills scholastic achievements exams uh, publications not relevant to you projects pors internships and ecs these are generally the sections that uh, uh, everyone adds so you can basically add any uh, points that you want next is page 2 page 2 is where uh, the data is something that's not editable but you can um, put it across uh, if you want to like you can show the tabs like if you want to show the courses done section you can open it and just select what courses you want to uh, show in this section next is like maybe ecs so you can show whatever ecs you want to show you can click them and uh, they would be visible here also uh, likewise for pors um you can also yeah uh, coming back to this page this is a uh, phase one where you can change the order of the section maybe i want to put ecs above uh, internships i can do that from here or maybe i uh, i want prs to be also above uh, internships i can do that also now once your cv is made you have to save your data and then save cv now there are these six categories that you can save your cv for these are made for your convenience uh, you can save like if i save this cv for analytics i can save it like this a uh, photograph is compulsory so once you have added uh, the photograph then you will be able to save the cvs uh, you can save them for any type uh, supposedly you want some points to show in analytics but not in the consulting cv uh, as i have told earlier you can uh, show or not show the points from here so that makes it easy to navigate and you can save different types of cvs so you can basically save six different types of cvs from here once everything is done you can save your data and please remember that if you do not save the cv under these sections uh, the cv is not uploaded so you have to mandatorily save cvs in all these sections uh, this is uh, everything about the portal if you have any questions you can ask me now uh, thank you srishti ma'am for you. such a wonderful uh, explanation Now we will proceed to the Q and A session. If you have any doubt, you can put it in the chat box, and our panelists, along with Anisha, ma'am, will ad address your doubts. Uh, yeah maybe one of you can start picking up questions that are already there the common ones and we start addressing them i found quite a few regarding verification documents so uh, um, yes ma'am uh, uh, so who would like to take that one okay i will proceed by taking these questions from the chat box yeah uh, so one question says what proof do we need to provide for external ecas See, for external ECAs or for internships or for anything that you have, see ongoing internships. Uh, as of now, just give the offer letter. Obviously, completion is not possible because it is going on. So, uh, for now, upload the offer letters, and uh, once the completion is done, if we need it, we will ask you for it. So that is for the proof of that. uh but uh, uh, for ecs and for any other activity you have to provide the relevant proof which proves that you have done what you have done if you are claiming you have done something there has to be some certification from somewhere you do not need to create certificates or ask people that mujhe ye likhna hai to mujhe certificate ab chahiye jo whatever jo aapke paas abhi hai wo aapko upload karna hai for the verification part deadlines have already been updated on your uh, portal so uploading of verification documents also has to be done by the 28th the cv will freeze and the verification documents need to be uploaded prior to it deadline uh, for most things is 20, uh, 11:59 pm of that day but 
that is not sacrosanct sometimes if a company needs it to be earlier we may put some other time also but the default normally is 11:59 pm because there was one question i saw about deadlines as well yeah next okay, question uh, how can we show the online courses done Online courses done again. If, uh, if you've done a Coursera course or something, you would have a certificate from there, right? So that is what you will give as your uh, verification. Now for publications this year, the Institute is going to be giving out guidelines on what kind of publications you can claim on the CV. So as and when that comes, that will be updated and you all will be informed again. It will be there in the policy. So the policy that you are seeing right now is last year's policy. Whatever additions happen to it, you need to update yourself on the additions, which will be done uh, before the process starts in August. So not the uh, process which is starting now, but please reread all your policy documents because the final policy will be what will be there before the first date of interview. So by 4th of August, the new policy will be uploaded. Uh, can we mention off campus? internship in the OCS CV. Again, whatever you're mentioning has to have a proof for it. So uh, if uh, page one, you can mention whatever page two, it will not come. And uh, page one, if you mention something, it has to be backed up with relevant proof. Okay. Uh, another question asks, well, what are the minimum number of days to get two NGO credits? I already said that 40 working days is the minimum number of days. Uh, how about verification for projects done as part of some IIT Delhi courses? If you're mentioning those projects, if you have some kind of a uh, certification, that's fine. But uh, like I said, don't cre create certificates and start going to professors saying, Ki, sir, I need this project ka certificate. Chahiye. If there is a query, we will raise it and at that point of time, we will uh, see how it goes. Someone asked, what is the page limit of CV? The page limit is it, uh, what you can write is that one page and the second page, you are not uh, having any option to edit or add or delete anything except to pick up things coming from an IIT Delhi system. So as far as you are concerned, it's one page. It's a two page CV. Second page is coming from some system in IIT Delhi. You only have the option of showing like what Srishti was showing you or what you want to show on that page. Uh, another question is uh, regarding RUTAG internship. Uh, what proof will work for uh, internship under RUTAG? For anything, like I said, for verification, uh, uh, whatever you have as of now, please upload it. And if we have a query, we will get back to you. In most cases, uh, uh, for the ongoing internships, whether it is RUTAG or a research internship or an OCS internship, you would only have the OCS letter. So, sorry, the offer letter, not the OCS letter. Or a SURA project, then you put the notification that says that you are do, uh, doing that as of now. Okay, uh, and someone is asking, can we edit a saved CV uh, before the freezing deadline? Before the freezing deadline, you are free to do whatever you want. You can do it thousand times. But once it is frozen, then there is no option to change it. The save button which uh, 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 was shown to you, it is only saving it on your uh, system. So until you upload it, the, the step of uploading which Srishti had shown you is an important step. Please remember if that till you do not save your CV into one of those seven categories. You don't need to make seven versions, but you need to make at least one version to be able to apply. So save it to one of those versions. It, for, for your ease of your remembering, it is analytics, consulting, IT, etc. But think of it as CV 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. As far as the system is concerned, it, it 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 does not remember analytics and consulting. It remembers one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Uh, do we have to be present in the campus for online test starting from 14th of July? 
for online tests the reason we are keeping them online is so that uh, because we know that you are not going to be there the physical processes start from 24th so if there is a physical test and you have applied to it unless you raise uh, uh, give, uh, raise the leave application form you need to be there for that test for the physical test online will happen in the online mode from wherever you are uh, some people are confused about projects too. They are asking if personal projects require verification. Like I said, for the uh, projects and for any other section, whatever proof you have right now is what you need to upload. And in the verification, if we have a query, we will raise it and then you will be given a chance to, you know, say whatever you have to say. But just keep your back, whatever you can back up, please back it up. Uh, if anyone require mic access to ask the questions, you can raise your hand. Okay, another question ask uh, will the test interviews uh, will clash with the lectures labs tutorials and quizzes no ocs activities are always scheduled after 7 pm uh, agar koi uh, course aapka 8 pm pe uh, lecture hai to uske sath wo clash karega but normally we uh, are very mindful like i said during minors and majors we will not uh, be scheduling anything and we don't want you to miss any classes as far as we can help it. Let's take another question. Can LAF be submitted after we miss the test? LAF has to be submitted at least two hours prior to the scheduled activity. Any LAF submitted after is equal to not submitting it. You will be liable for the penalty. Timestamp lagta hai and timestamp dekha jata hai. It's an online system. The timestamp is there. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, what will be the deadline for uploading CVs for this session? I didn't quite catch up on that. 28th. Of uh, June? Of June, yes. When you log in, you will see it. Okay. It's already Thank been updated there. Midnight of midnight, 11 59 p.m. And uh, uh, for all activities, this is a general guideline for everybody. Don't wait for 11 55 to do all your activities. Because if you come and say, Ki meri deadline miss ho gai, kyunki us time pe do minutes se mera wo, uh, miss ho gaya, can't help you there. Finish all your activities in time. I had another question. If sure. there's a problem with verification, would we know what exactly the problem is so that we can correct it and add more to it? See, it is your CV. Uh, if there is a problem in verification, uh, we will not be giving you specific these things. But yes, if uh, there will be a process to it, which is a logical process which has been working over the years. So it will be raised and then you will be given time to rectify whatever is the mistake. Now, we may not give you specific ki, the 10th line ke 5th word mein problem hai. It, wo, wo sab nahi hoga. But verification mein hoga ki aapki CV flag hui hai. And since we are now back to the physical mode, if, uh, if it is required and we need to talk to you, we will give you time to come into office also. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. We have another question. Is the limit of applying to 50 companies is just for phase one? Yes, uh, so uh, it's uh, the, it's not a uh, see for placements is phase one and phase two for internship. Abhi 50 is the default for right now. That limit will get increased uh, uh, after the you know the first few round of companies go in internship. It's not such a demarcated phase one and phase two. But yeah, after the first few days, so this is just for uh, 
ऑगस्ट वाले फर्स्ट फ्यू वीकेंड्स जो फिफ्टी का लिमिट अभी आपको दिख रहा है so that's just so that you think before you apply right don't apply to anything and everything that opens up and then afterwards come and tell us ki ye mere ko suit nahi kar raha there is also a general query from uh, many of the students who are doing summer courses and mcp 101 lab uh, mm -hmm. will their grade will be added to the final cgp that will be shown on the cv See, uh, for for the summer courses, uh, since we uh, we have started this early because August fifth, co the first companies are coming onto campus, and your grades will not be in the system at that point of time. So once the grades for ninety percent of the batch are done, it will again be pushed onto the system. That is something that will happen automatically. And then at that point of time, we will let you know what needs to be done. तो वो बाद की कंपनीज में दिखेगा अगस्त फिफ्थ और सिक्स की कंपनीज को शायद नहीं दिखेगा इफ इट इज डन देन वील पुश इट बट इफ इट इज नॉट वी आर जस्ट रेडी फॉर ऑल कंटेंजेंसीज अ फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स आस्क व्हेन विल वी बी इंफॉर्म्ड अबाउट द ऑनलाइन टेस्ट द नोटिफिकेशन पार्ट सृष्टि इफ यू कैन जस्ट शो देम हाउ द नोटिफिकेशंस हैव टू बी सीन so that they can start checking on the notifications of how they see the test schedules and all that oh yes ma'am uh i hope my screen is visible yes it is hello yeah. uh so when you, once you log in on the portal uh this bell icon is where you can see the notifications all the details of test and ppt schedule would be in the company schedule section general notifications would be in this section test shortlist would be here and other downloads would be in this section as advised by me earlier you have to download our notifications app for android or ios from here this is the OC ocs notifications app once you install it and log in with your uh, kerberos ids any notification that gets put up on this page would be visible as a notification on your phones as well so that is how you can keep a track of the notifications uh, else it is advised to keep checking the portal by logging in on the website also regularly any other questions related to notifications okay uh, we have another doubt from a student uh, what counts as an application uh, the profile or the company the ap application is to the company am i right uh, srishti it's uh, yes. one per com yes uh, one application for each company if a company has multiple profiles and you apply to all of them your application would be counted as one because you have applied to one company only uh maybe uh, srishti can you just take them through the point system also because i think that we forgotten to cover Uh, yeah uh, so earlier uh, back in april we had hosted uh, our career fair pravriti during which we introduced the point system uh, the details of which can be found both on the website and you can also um, go and check them through the instagram page uh, i will um, try and share the document also with all of you uh, basically if you attend any workshops or other events arranged by ocs you get a certain number of points for it uh, which when collected and they reach a sufficient number 
you can avail those points for your placements and those points can increase your applications for example if x is the threshold and your collected points is greater than x then you will be rewarded with a certain number of extra applications above the number of 50 so uh, that is relevant for placement students only and uh, i will try to share the document with all of you as well uh, the only change we added last year was that even if you are uh, uh, sitting for uh, OCS uh, uh, related activities, including this session which you are currently attending, you will get those points. Uh, only thing is, it they become relevant in the year you are sitting for placements. So, you accumulate your Even for this one, you are getting those credits. Yes. Uh, for the people who are asking about um, VPN thing, uh, it was only for foreign uh, students who are uh, currently not in India. You have to access the website through mobile data only. VPNs won't work. Otherwise, uh, the website works both for mobile data, VPNs, Wi-Fi, anything. ये जो two times वाला है काफी बच्चे two times से confused होने two times means you can get up to two internships so it's not that you will only apply to two it is let us say you got an internship in 2022 from uh, OCS and you got another summer internship in 2023 through uh, OCS 2024 onwards you will not be able to get an internship opportunity through OCS that is what it means. So two years and it need not be consecutive. It could be 2022 and 2024 or whatever combination. Maximum of two in your tenure at IIT Delhi. Two summers. Uh, we we'll have another in our minutes. So just put your queries and try not to put repetitive ones. Over to you, Kenji. We have another question from a student uh, who is asking, can we put two internship uh, during the same duration? You can't be doing two things together. Like you cannot do a summer course with a summer internship. You cannot be in two places at the same time. Because then I, we will check with both the places and they will be very interested to know how you could manage that. Can we write upcoming tenures PORs uh, if it has been updated on your uh, on the SAC portal? Because I believe the upcoming PORs are already there. Then you can write it on page two. Then it will come on to page two, which is the verified page. If it if it comes there, then it, you can write it on page one as well. Uh, we have another question that asks, will OCS aid in preparation for interviews, tests and CV making? So uh, shortly now after this, you will uh, start getting not uh, notifications. So please uh, check the notification website once a day. You will not get any email notifications for all these kind of things. Uh, yes, we do have a lot of workshops. So all of those things, uh, as in when the workshop is organized, please attend those. So the preparation workshops will start shortly. I, I think the first one is scheduled for 25th, if I'm not mistaken, the CV making one. Uh, we will be closing this meet shortly. Thank you, Anisha ma'am and Shishti ma'am and other panelists for your support. Uh, and if you guys have any query, you can raise your hand for mic access. Um, another thing I wanted to add was uh, you cannot apply to any company that is visiting on campus through otherwise off campus channels. So please be mindful of it and uh, take care. Otherwise, um, 
can we take the questions of those who have raised the hands just two more minutes now on the off campus thing i i saw a question that uh, said that if i do not get anything through ocs can i apply off campus like Srishti said, that off-campus role of companies uh, uh, applies to everybody irrespective. And OCS work goes on up to May. So if you're applying off-campus, just remember that till May we are anyways working on getting as many companies on campus to do the campus processes. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, uh, I have taken a semester withdrawal due to medical reason. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm planning to extend my degree and uh, come like extend. Uh, I have to graduate in 2024, but I'm planning on 2025. So can I apply for this internship season? I mean, can I set? Yeah, so for that, uh, if, if your uh, registration on the internship portal is not uh, open as of now, then you will okay. there is a process on the download section there are certain forms just uh, fill those forms and come into the office we will help you that's not an issue uh, uh, so should i uh, no alec i'm not in campus right now so uh, you can do it on email okay okay uh, like so uh, placement dot uh, should i contact yeah, them or? yeah yeah that is where you will send it okay thank you Those who made an account last year can use the same one or need to register again. See, uh, some data will be ported from last year to this year, but every uh, session is a new session, so you will need to register again by uh, if you want to be eligible for this year. It's not registration, it is login. And you need I to remake your CV, the old CV, uh, and resave your CVs. Some data will be there on the CV, but you, they, I'm sure there will be some updates. Anyone else, Kinjal? Uh, I guess we are done with the purpose of this orientation. So uh, we will be closing this uh, meeting now. Thank you, Anisha, ma'am. Thank you, Shristi, ma'am, and other panelists. Thank you all for joining us for this orientation. Thank you, everyone.